Now let us discuss about multi-stage graph using dynamic programming with the help of the backward approach. We know that multi-stage graph means the given graph is divided into multiple stages. The vertices present in the graph are divided into multiple stages. So here let this stage is V1. So V1 stage contains only one vertex that is 1. Let this stage is V2. So it contains two vertices. Let this stage is V3. It contains three vertices. Let this stage is V4. It contains two vertices. Let this stage is V5, it contains only one vertex. The major objective of multi-stage graph is to find the minimum path from source to the destination. Here the source is 1, whereas destination is 9. Now let us find out the cast. So cast of. So here we know that in forward approach, we will start from the last stage that is destination vertex and continues towards the uh, stage 1 that is source vertex. Whereas in backward approach, we will start from the stage 1 that is source vertex and will continue towards the destination vertex. So first let us see about stage 1. So at stage 1 we have only one vertex. So cast off. So here the stage number is 1 uh, and the vertex number is 1. So here the source vertex is 1 as well as destination vertex is 1. There is no edge from 1 to 1. So the cast is 0. Let us fill the data in this table. So the first row specifies V. Here we have 9 vertices. The second row specifies cast. So cast of each and every vertex. Cast of 1, cast of 2, cast of 3 likewise. D specifies when we have multiple incoming edges, then out of all those edges, which vertex is producing the minimum cast. So that vertex is nothing but D. So what is the cast of 1? 0. And what is D here? Here we have only one vertex. So that is nothing but D. Next, let us find out the cast of the vertices yet. Stays 2. Stays 2, cast of. So here this is stays 2. And we need to find out second vertex and third vertex cast. So cast of 2 comma 2 equal to here in order to find the cast here we have only one edge here we will focus on the incoming edges whereas if you take uh, the first one that is forward approach there we will focus on outgoing edges outgoing edges but here we will focus on incoming edges in the backward approach uh, so here here also we will use C of I say. So, C of IJ specifies edge cast from vertex I to vertex J. So, here if you take second vertex, here we have an edge from vertex 1 to vertex 2. So, this is what incoming edge. Here we will focus on the incoming edge. So, that is equal to C of so 1 comma 2. So, what is the edge cast here? 5. So, here the cast of the second vertex is 5. 5. And here we have only one vertex for the vertex 2. We have only one edge that is associated with 1. So that 1 is nothing but D value. So likewise we have to find out cast of third vertex. Here we have third vertex at the second stage. So that is equal to we have only one edge. So C of so 1 comma 3. So what is the edge cast? 2. So cast of the third vertex is 2. So here for 3 there is only one edge associated with 1. So that one is nothing but D value. So phi 2, phi 2, 1, 1. So stage 2 is over. Now let us focus on stage 3. So at stage 3, we have to calculate the cast of 4, 5, 6. So cast of third stage, fourth vertex. Here we have uh, multiple incoming edges. So out of those edges, we have to choose the minimum value. So that is equal to minimum of, if you take 4, we have 1, 2, 2 incoming edges. So what is the first edge? This edge. So this edge is nothing but, here we have to consider this edge cast. This edge cast is nothing but, this is source vertex, this is destination vertex. So C of 2 comma 4 plus, we have to determine the cast of the second vertex in the second stage. So cast of, 
second vertex in the second stage comma and what is one one more incoming edge for 4 3 comma 4 so c of 3 comma 4 plus cast of we have to calculate the cast of the third vertex in the second stage so 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 so c a minimum of c of 2 comma 4 means that is 3 next c of 3 comma 4 means that is 6 2 4 means 3 uh, 3 4 means 6 next what is the cast of the second vertex it is already calculated that is 5 plus what is the cast of the third vertex that is 2 so 3 plus 5 means 8 6 plus uh, 2 means 8 3 plus 5 8 6 plus 2 8 both are 8 only so the minimum value is 8 so cast of the fourth vertex is 8 so which vertex is producing the minimum cast so here both are producing the minimum value so here for the fourth vertex we have uh, two incoming edges so the first one is two second one is three so both are producing the minimum value so two slash three so we can take one of the one vertex so both are same only so cast of three comma four is calculated so likewise we need to find out the cast of uh, three comma five three comma six at which stage at third stage so let us calculate them so stage three so cast of third stage fifth vertex is equal to minimum of so for five we have only one incoming edge for five we have only one coming one incoming edge so there is no need to use minimum value so directly we can take that cast so here we have only one edge that is three five that is three five so c of three five plus we have to determine the cast of the third vertex at the second stage so cast of 2 comma 3 so that is equal to c of 3 5 means the cast is 5 so 5 plus cast of third vertex cast of third vertex is 2 so 5 plus 2 means 7 so here the cast of the fifth vertex is cast of the fifth vertex is 7 7 here we have only one vertex associated with 5 so what is that vertex 3 3 so just we have to write that 3 only so 5 is over next we have to find out cast of the sixth vertex at the third stage so for 6 we have two incoming edges so we need to take minimum value so min of what is the first edge 2 6 2 6 we have to find out cast of the second vertex at the second stage comma and what is the second incoming edge c of 3 6 plus we have to find out the cast of third vertex at the second stage at the second stage we have third vertex next that is equal to what is c of 2 6 c of 2 6 means 3 3 next what is c of 3 6 that is 8 2 6 means 3 3 6 means 8 next what is the cast of the second vertex it is 5 next third vertex cast it is 7 so 3 plus 5 means 8 8 plus 2 means 10 so minimum value is 8 so cast of the sixth vertex is 8 so which vertex is producing the minimum cast so 8 so first one first one means which vertex second vertex so for 6 we have 2 and 3 so second vertex is producing the minimum cast next stage 4 at stage 4 we have to calculate the cast of 7th vertex and 8th vertex so cast of 4 comma 7 equal to minimum of for 7 we have 3 incoming edges so what is the first one c of 4 7 second one 5 7 third one 6 7 so c of 5 7 c of 6 7 next we have to find out cast of the fourth vertex at the third stage so cast of 3 comma 4 third stage fourth vertex next cast of fifth vertex fourth stage plus cast of sixth vertex fourth stage so three five uh, four five four yeah i'm sorry both are at uh, all are at third stage only third stage only whereas here five six so three comma four three comma five and three comma six that is equal to minimum of four seven means one five seven means 6 next 6 7 means 6 so 171 5 7 6 6 7 6 
next what is the cast of the fourth vertex 4 5 6 8 7 8 so 8 8 7 8 8 7 8 8 7 8 so 1 plus 8 9 6 plus 7 13 6 plus 8 14 so 1 plus 8 so that is 9 is the minimum value so cast of the seventh vertex is 9 cast of the seventh vertex is 9 so which vertex is producing the minimum value so first one so first one means fourth vertex so likewise we have to calculate cast of uh, eighth vertex as well as finally ninth vertex so let us see the cast of the eighth vertex eighth vertex so this is at fourth stage so, so at stage four we have to calculate cast of the eighth vertex so for eighth vertex we have multiple incoming edges so we have to take minimum of them so what is the first one fourth one second one fifth one third one sixth one so c of 4 7 c of 5 7 c of 6 7 plus cast of fourth vertex at third stage so 3 comma 4 plus cast of third stage fifth vertex plus cast of third stage sixth vertex so that is equal to minimum of so 4 7 means 1 5 7 means 6 6 7 means 6 so 1 6 6 1 6 6 1 6 6 next 4 5 6 cast 4 5 6 cast 8 7 8 8 7 8 so here also the minimum value is 9 only so 1 plus 8 9 so 9 only so which vertex is producing the minimum cast so first one first one means fourth vertex so finally we have to calculate cast of the ninth vertex so stage 5 cast of ninth vertex available at the fifth stage so for 9 we have two incoming edges so we have to take minimum value so the first one is from 7 second one is from 8 so c of 7 comma 9 plus c of 8 comma 9 plus cast of plus cast of plus cast of this one so what is this one seventh vertex at fourth stage seventh vertex at fourth stage so cast of here if we want here we can take in place of cast b cast also so here also in place of cast we can take b cast also if you take the fourth vertex then c of 2 comma 4 plus b cast in place of cast here in place of cast we can take b cast also why because b cast specifies backward cast backward cast here we are fo focusing on the incoming edges not on the outgoing edges so that's why here here cast only here cast only but here after c we can take b cast in place of cost we can take b cast b cast specifies backward cast so for all the values okay so if you take this one c of 5 cast of 3 comma 5 then c of 3 comma 5 plus b cast of uh, third vertex at the second stage so b cast of uh, this is nothing but fourth stage seventh, seventh vertex fourth stage seventh vertex plus in place of cast we can take b cast b cast why because in sahani textbook we have b cast b cast of this is nothing but fourth stage eighth vertex fourth stage eighth vertex so that is equal to c comma c 7 9 means what is the cast 7 next c 8 9 means 3 so 7 3 next what is the cast of 7 and 8 so 7 and 8 both are 9 only 9 only so 7 plus 9 means 16 3 plus 9 means 12 so 12 is the minimum value 12 is the minimum value so 12 means second one second one means eighth vertex so now uh, the table is filled so now we have uh, all the values now we need to find out the minimum cost so let us find out the minimum cost now as well as uh, the minimum path minimum path is nothing but the best path so in order to find out the minimum cost path we have to start from the destination vertex what is the destination vertex 9 so d of 9 equal to d of 9 equal to what is minimum vertex 8 8 is giving the minimum value 8 next d of 8 equal to d of 8 equal to what is the minimum value 4 4 next d of 4 equal to 2 or 3 both both will produce the same cost only 
here i am choosing 2 if you want you can choose 2 also both will produce the same value next d of 2 equal to 1 d of 2 equal to 1 so here what is the source vertex 1 is the source vertex and after that we have to visit second vertex at the second stage after that we have to visit 4 so fourth vertex at the third stage after that we have to visit eighth vertex eighth vertex at the fourth stage after that this 9 this 9 is nothing but destination vertex so this is the minimum path so 1 2 2 next i am sorry so this is uh, uh, not 1 this is uh, this is 3 this is uh, best path 1 2 2 next 2 2 4 next 4 to 8 so this is 8 4 to 8 next 8 to 9 next what is the minimum cost here 1 2 2 means 5 plus 2 to 4 means 3 next 4 to 8 means 4 8 to 9 means 3 so 1 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 3 15 so that is the minimum value now let us derive the formula so till now we have seen uh, uh, till now we have calculated cost of all the vertices uh, now let us see the formula so in order to see the formula let us calculate cost of one vertex uh, let us calculate the cost of the uh, uh, this one uh, fourth vertex at the third stage so based on this let us find let us derive the formula cost of fourth vertex at the third stage minimum of this is nothing but c of 2 comma 4 this edge cost plus b cost b cost of the second vertex second stage so instead of cost let us take b cost why because here we are focusing on incoming edges not outgoing edges let us see the formula cost of i comma j equal to so this i is nothing but stage number this j is nothing but vertex number is equal to minimum of minimum of if you, if you see here uh, for fourth vertex at the third stage so c of 2 comma 4 so what is this 2 uh, now we are at third stage various second stage is nothing but it previous stage in order to denote the previous stage let us use l so what is l l belongs to its previous stage vertex l belongs to v i minus 1 here what is v i fourth stage whereas v i minus 1 means third stage vertex here l denotes the previous stage vertex comma what is this 4 this 4 is nothing but that vertex only so c of l comma j so what is this l comma j, j? this is an edge present in the graph so 2 comma 4 is nothing but an edge present in the graph so likewise we have uh, so many edges okay plus plus b cast of 2 comma 2 so what is this 2 this 2 is nothing but second stage this 2 is nothing but second stage it's not second stage vertex it is second stage how to get this 2 here initially the stage is i now we are getting 2 so how to get 2 from 3 that is nothing but i minus 1 so i minus 1 comma next what is this 2 this 2 is nothing but this uh, previous stage vertex previous stage vertex so for previous stage vertex already we have taken l so we have to take that l so this is the formula so this is about the multi stage graph using uh, dynamic programming with the help of the